Okay, so I have a serious problem. I just bought two whole bags of clothes and some cups. Joshua has not seen this yet. Okay, so what you just saw is what I like to refer to as a speed haul. I get off work at 5 o'clock and it takes me, depending on traffic, about 15 to 20 minutes to get to my favorite thrift store here in Athens. Um, so basically, by the time I got out of the car and situated in the store, it was about 5.20 and they close at 6 o'clock and if you are a thrifter, you understand that yeah, uh, 40 minutes to get everything and go through everything and you haven't been there in a few weeks and everything is different. It's just not a lot of time. To be able to successfully pull off a speed haul, you have to know what the sales are, how it runs. Um, usually it's best if you've been there at that time of day before so you get the idea of what kind of people show up at the same time as you and also do speed hauls because there's always that one person that you're battling it out with and you're circling the store together. Um, and yeah, there was this week. Hello, lady. We are friends. Speed haul friends. So you have to know your store. Um, and you have to be fast. I try to <laughs> go through every single rack, but in a speed haul, that's not possible. So I really just skim through very, very quickly. And if I find something, I pull it, I hold it up. I don't actually try things on when I do a speed haul. I know, crazy. Um, so I never know if things are actually gonna work or not. A few of the pieces that I ended up with are a little tighter than I probably would be comfortable with. So more than likely, I will be gifting those to a sister or a friend or something like that, uh, which is totally fine with me. I think it's adorable and hopefully they will too, so let's share the love. You may not be able to try things on. You have to be okay with that. And I typically try about 20 minutes in, so I've got 40 minutes to get through the haul. 
I typically try to take a break from clothing at like the 20 minute mark because it can be a whirlwind. So I typically will just, there are a few rows of household items at my favorite store. So I'll just skim through um, pretty quickly, not spending a whole lot of time over there, but I skim through. And when I had my clothing break this time around, I found this adorable cup. I actually found six of them. They're plastic, um, but they're just adorable. And I remember, y'all, I remember having some of these that we would use at my grandmother's house growing up. And I kid you not, ever since, <laughs> I've used one every single day. Yeah, they're just so cute. And not only are they cute, guess how much they cost? Drum roll, please. 10 cents. 10 cents each. I paid 60 cents total for my adorable little cups. Speed haul for the win. My store does what's called a bag sale. And so you get however many items you can fit in a bag for $12. But, but, this week, they have a ton of inventory right now and they're trying to push it out. So they are offering a sale. You can't get one bag for $6. It's still $12 if you buy one bag, but you can get two bags for $12. So they want you to walk out of the store with more clothes. So that is the perfect opportunity for a speed haul because I know that I'm getting a ton of stuff. I mean, I basically paid 50 cents per item. It's okay if a couple of them didn't fit and if I gift them to someone else. Also, one item you didn't see that I ended up with that definitely will not fit me, but was too adorable to pass up. Okay, I'm gonna move out of the way. This adorable little number. Look at how precious. But y'all, okay, Millie is like blocking my way right now. Hey, Millie. Um, look how tiny this is. Like it, it would not even fit like half of me. It's so tiny, but the cool thing is, um, I've been eyeing this dress for like a month and a half and have just not brought myself to get it. And when I saw this deal, I just, you know what, even if I hang it up on the wall, if I wash it and hang it up as a decoration and I have my spare my spare bedroom which we're in right now is an old room so it's a bunch of vintage things that I either got from family members or I found um, but this would be perfect for that so even if because there's some taken in I could seam rip that and I could really actually try and see if it would maybe fit once that uh, it's about an inch. Once the inch is added to it, I highly doubt it. But, like I said, I can absolutely do something with it. It's adorable and it needed a home. So now it has one. That is a speed haul in a nutshell. Welcome to speed hauls. Um, I will definitely... Millie has left the building. I will definitely do another one of these. I will do another normal haul as well so that you get an idea of the difference. Um, but yeah, have any questions, please share them in the comments. If you want some more tips about how I do my speed hauls, um, thrifting tips in general. Here comes Millie. Hi, Millie! <laughs> she she doesn't know what to think of us. Um, if you have just general thrifting tip, like questions, go for it. Share those as well. I would love to just chat thrifting because I love it. And I'm gonna go do some more now because it's, it's Saturday and it's beautiful. So let's go. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and wanna see more thrifting videos. And be sure to subscribe because there's a lot more where this came from. Bye!